Welcome to Worldwide Differential Calculus, the first textbook from the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. I'm David Massey, the author of the textbook. You're, you should ask, why write another calculus textbook? Why on earth does the world need another calculus textbook? Well, for, for one thing, uh, it's, it's become clear that digital textbooks are just the wave of the future. Um, the, the proliferation of, of laptops and uh, portable devices and tablets like the iPad, the iPad's like perfect for our textbook, has made it clear that you know, the, a PDF-based textbook, or at least a digital textbook, is where the world is headed. So that's why you should have a textbook in a new format. What's, what's better about the content of our digital textbooks? Well, I made an effort to write the textbook the way I speak math in class, in, in an informal expository way, but at the same time I made the mathematics as rigorous and as tight as possible. Um, to still make this as readable for the student as it can be, I have all the exposition in the midst of the sections, but then the very technical statements and proofs I put at the end of each chapter in a technical matters section. Um, the, the PDFs you know, are very portable. You can have them on your laptops. You can have them on your portable devices. You can have it on your iPhone. Or, or your, your whatever phone, um, the PDFs are also more useful. The, the PDFs have video links in them at the beginning of each section. If you click on a link, it will take you to a, a video on the web where I lecture on the, the contents of that section for roughly an hour. Um, there, are, there are selected video solutions to homework problems where we've had, we've had had other people record video solutions. Um, those are more like 10-minute solution videos for various exercises. Um, the, the textbooks, the PDF is hyperlinked, so the internal cross-references, You, if, if something says, recall Proposition 1.3.3, you click on that, you go off to Proposition 1.3.3, and then you can go right back to where you were, something that you can't do in a traditional textbook. I should say that um, all the PDF viewers with which I'm familiar have the, have the forward and back buttons off by default. So you may need to go into your preferences and whatever PDF viewing software you use and activate forward and back buttons to have that functionality. Um, the table of contents is fully hyperlinked, so you can just go to the right portions of the book. The index is fully hyperlinked, so you can look up things easily that way. Um, other advantages to the textbook being electronic? Uh, we can make updates available free of charge. When we update the textbook, we'll, we can just um, make, put, the, put the new file online. When we update videos, we just, you, won't even, we don't, you don't have to even download anything new because the videos are linked, so we just replace videos. So, for instance, when our lighting or sound Im um, has improved, well, when it did improve, we... We just had new, better videos up. We're still going to go back and, and re-record a few of our older videos um, in the coming months that, with our better light and sound. But in general, any new stuff that we put in the textbook, we can push out free of charge. For instance, we're adding interactivity, well, what we call interactivities around here, interactivities to the textbook where links to um, animated Mathematica produced typically graphs or other cool things, uh, graphics, that will help demonstrate concepts in the book. Um, the, uh, I should talk about the prerequisites for using this book. We expect uh, the student to know high school algebra, including basic trigonometry on tri using triangles, um, basic properties of exponential functions and logarithms. But in, in the book, we will do trigonometry on circles and, and radians, uh, radian measures instead of degrees. Um, perhaps the most unusual aspect of the textbook is the approach to the exponential function. I gave this uh, a lot of thought about how to present the exponential function. At the end of the day, I decided that for many reasons that the best presentation of it is as a power series. Uh, a limit of polynomials, a limit of polynomial functions. Um, that may seem a little scary, 
at first, but actually students have, do not find this difficult. It's a nice little warm up for the power series stuff they'll see usually in a second semester of calculus. Um, and it's um, actually very manageable to prove everything you want about the exponential function from that definition as a power series. Um, this book does contain anti-differentiation, so indefinite integration. And because that's a, a solution to a type of, an easy type of differential equation, there's a, there's a whole chapter that's on differential equations. I realize that a lot of people will skip most of that chapter in a calculus course and just concentrate on the anti-differentiation section, but it really fits in very nicely in with a whole short, relatively short chapter on differential equations, um, just using like separable differential equations, nothing more difficult than that. The book contains um, no definite integrals, so no limits of Riemann sums. That's in our integral, worldwide integral calculus textbook. Um, the, the layout of the book, as I've said, I've moved, you know, each section starts with a video. The exposition is in, tends to be informal, although the statements of theorems are very tight. Technical details are at the end of every section. Um, definitions appear in, uh, in green boxes. Uh, theorems appear in blue boxes. Uh, warnings, like warnings of standard mistakes that students make are in red boxes with red shading to really stand out so that hopefully you won't make any of those mistakes that traditionally get made. Um, the, uh, I will say one last time that if, to get the full functionality of our PDFs, you do want to activate the forward and back buttons in your PDF viewer. Uh, we've had a number of people tell us that that feature doesn't work and they just haven't enabled the forward and back buttons. So um, that's, those are the features that we hope you find better about this book, the, the content itself and its usability as a PDF. And we hope you enjoy using our differential calculus textbook as much as you can enjoy using any math textbook.